Ama Cristina is a luxury river ship built in 2017 for Ama Waterways. The luxury river cruise company that has won so many awards, if I had to list them here, this video would be longer than a Lord of the Rings special extended edition movie trilogy box set. Let's just say they're very good. Mm, very good indeed. You can see our in-depth tour video of Ama Cristina in a separate video, and I'll leave a link at the end. In this video, we'll be showing you around the five main categories of staterooms of the ship's nine. Why only five? Well, the others are a variation of the ones I'm going to show you now, so I don't think there was any advantage in you doubling up. And if you're like me, your YouTube screen time is probably already at the point marked meltdown, so I'll promise to keep this brief. So with the press of that subscribe button and a generous click of the thumbs up, let's get on board the ship and into the first stateroom. Press them both? <laughs> Why, thank you. Let's go. First up is a Category D stateroom on piano deck, which is the lowest deck. It's identical to a Category E, and room 103 here is the entry level stateroom at 160 square feet. All the familiar Ammo Waterways touches are here though, but because you're on a lower deck and mostly below the waterline, you obviously don't get a balcony, but you get a couple of decent sized windows that give you a swan's eye view of the river, similar to the view in the restaurant. The bathroom is small, but aren't they all generally? However, the triangular shower is a pretty decent size. Up one deck to cello deck and category CA is the next stateroom up in the series and at 170 square feet includes a French balcony because now you're on the lower of the two main accommodation decks. This is stateroom 231. The bathroom is the same as room 103 we just showed you. Also on cello deck is stateroom 211, the stateroom we stayed in for a whole week. It's a category BB and at 210 square feet we'd describe this accommodation as the mid-range type on Ama Cristina. It's the first category to have both an outside balcony and an inside French balcony. Two balconies. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Two. We did get a lot of use of the outside balcony, but to be honest, found the inside balcony a little bit snug compared to the outside. But it's definitely a neat little touch that you can open these French balcony windows wide. Well, if you can squeeze past the chairs, of course. The amenities in this stateroom are basically the same as all categories. You get an Apple iMac, which drives a bespoke Ammo Waterways infotainment system. Very classy. You also get a handy empty fridge, plenty of plug and USB sockets, and of course no river cruise would be complete without a quiet box receiver for your excursions. What we were most impressed by, however, was the bathroom, which was a decent size, had a powerful shower inside a generous enclosure, and a window that looked out into the room, which magically at the flick of a switch turned opaque, so you could choose to have privacy if you wished. And to top it all, one of my favorite little details on any ship, river or ocean, a little nightlight to avoid those middle-of-the-night retina burning trips to the loo. Things get a bit serious from here on in as we move up the categories to the more generous end of the stateroom scale, starting with category AB on cello deck. Stateroom 201 feels much larger at 235 square feet. The inside French balcony has more room and makes it much easier to relax in, and it feels like there's more floor space as the bathroom is not built into the room, but to the side of the living area. But if you look at the deck plan, this and room 202 are orientated differently and therefore have the benefit of a longer external wall, hence the extra room for the balconies. This means the bed faces the windows and hence the river, and we love that. Last but certainly not least, we'll show you suite 301 on the top violin deck. And at 350 square feet, by far the largest accommodation on board Ama Cristina. This is the only category where the bedroom is distinctly separated from the living area, but it's still open plan, which we prefer to two smaller rooms. The bed faces these beautiful French windows. Open them up in the morning and you'll not want to leave your bed. The bathroom is larger too, this time including a bath as well as a separate shower enclosure. This is top end and of course it will cost you a pretty penny or two, but if the sweet life is your thing, this one does not disappoint. Mm -hmm. 
Now you've seen the accommodation, why not take a beautiful look at the public areas of Amacristina by clicking this link for our comprehensive ship tour. Thank you. Thank you.